Welcome back, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how I created this W with this woman peeking through. Before we get started, if you learn anything in this tutorial, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. Turn that notification bell on so that you know when new tutorials come out. And if you're interested in learning more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. So let's get started. All right, so we are starting off this design with a YouTube thumbnail, and I'm going to head over to uh, an app called Typecraft to start my design. And so in my app section, I'm just going to search for Typecraft. This is what it looks like. I'm going to open it up. And um, for the text, uh, I actually just want one letter, but I'm finding it easier to if I have more than one letter in the text to start and then I can remove the extra letters. But the letter I want to use is W. And for the font, I want to use a font called Barbero Punta, this one right here. I'm going to go back. Uh, so underneath the font, we have the option to select a style. I'm going to maintain no style and just keep this one selected. For colors, I want a black. So I'm just going to move this little circle icon all the way to the to the bottom corner until I get the blackest black. And in the um, edit shape preview box, I get a sample of what my design might look like. Now, what I want to do is uh, I want to just make it this font a little bit taller. So I'm going to bring it up like that. And I'm just going to grab uh, the horizontal ends and I'm going to move them up to kind of match up with how far I've moved up the middle. And I'm just going to place that on my workspace just to make sure that it is even and it is. I'm now going to go back to my text and I'm going to get rid of the extra W's and I'll come down uh, back to update element and I'm going to update my element. Now I want to make it a little bit taller. So I'm just going to again adjust and I'm going to go to no mirror and I'm going to make it a lot taller. Now this might take you a couple of tries. Just be patient as you're making your way um, through. All right, now I'm pretty happy with that. Before I um, finish off, I am going to change the font color to white. And I'll click back outside. I'm going to now go to elements and I'm going to grab a square. I'm going to make the square black and I'm going to place this behind my W. I'll go to position, layers, and I'll bring it this in behind like that. And I'm just going to move this to the middle of my workspace. I'm now going to download this design. And I'm going to open up a or add a new page. And I'm going to bring that design onto my workspace. Once it finishes uploading, I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to remove the background. And that should make the inside of the W transparent. So let's just go in and take a look. And yes, it did. All right. So, so that's fine. I'm just going to put this aside for a second right there. I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to um, place a woman on my workspace. This is the woman that I want to use except she's got a hand in front of her lips. So I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to go into um, magic eraser. And what I want to do is I want e to erase this hand. So I'm just going to make the brush size a little bit larger. And I'm just going to brush right over 
the hand and just down a little further like that and I'm going to say erase. Now this might take you a couple of tries uh, but it works pretty good and there we go. So that's perfect. I'm going to close this and now I have my image. I'm just going to crop it a little bit like that. Uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go into elements um, and because I, I have already um, searched for uh, hands, I'm going to place a couple of hands on my workspace. If you want to search for your own hands, that's fine. Just come into elements and search for hand holding. And you can go into all and from here, you can just filter to see cutouts only, and that will bring up all the cutouts for you to choose from. So I'm pretty happy with this one. I found this one in here. You can search for it too. So I'm just going to close this and go back to my design. All right. So we have all of the elements that we need to finish off our design. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this image in behind my W and really I just want um, the face so I'm just going to do a little bit of cropping here and I'm going to position her face behind the W like that and I'm just going to do a little bit more cropping. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to just make it a little bit larger just so that we can see what we are working with and I'm just going to crop a little bit more like that. Now we really can't see the background of the woman a lot so I'm just going to grab that photo. I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to go into adjust and I want to adjust the background only and I'm going to decrease the temperature of the photo and I'm going to decrease the tint just to bring a little bit more of that blue through the photo. And you, you might have to play with these settings to get something um, that you like. Um, if you have a nice background, then um, that will work out good for you as well. I'm now going to, now that I'm happy with my photo, I'm now going to go back to my um, overlay and I'm going to change the color of my overlay using Duotone. So I'll come to Duotone. I'm going to select custom. I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to turn that to white. I'm also going to go to highlights and I'm going to turn that all the way to white as well. All right, so all we have left to work with is our hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller just to make it look more realistic. Before I actually place these hands on my letter, I'm going to go into Edit. And I'm going to go into Adjust. And I'm going to come all the way down to the Color Editor. <coughs> and I'm going to turn up the saturation a little bit. I'm also going to turn down the brightness. So I'm trying to make the color um, more in line with the um, skin tone of the woman. So I'll just leave it like that and let's see if I can just bring up the saturation a little bit more to match her skin tone. So I'll just leave it like that for now. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make a copy because I'm going to need two of these hands. So I'm going to grab the first one and I'm going to kind of rotate it slightly. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller like that. Maybe I made it too small, sorry. So I'll just make it a little bit larger and I'm going to place it right there on the side of that W. I'm going to grab this one now and I'm actually going to flip it 
like that. And I'm going to grab it and I'm going to place it right up here. And I'll just make it a little bit smaller and just rotate it so it's actually um, along the line of that W. If you want to give that letter a little bit more of a 3D effect, what you could do is you could choose that layer on top and you can apply a shadow by selecting it and then going to shadows. Select a drop shadow and then you, of course, you're going to have to resize a little bit. And if you don't want the shadow appearing on that outer edge, then you'll have to crop it a little bit just so that you don't see it. And you, you can move your hands back in position like that. And that's about it. If you learned anything in this tutorial, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe and turn that notification bell on. And if there's anything else that you want to see, drop it in the comments. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye until next time. Bye-bye.